I find fall really boring because I have to go to work and I work with young kids. So I, my dreams of fall fashion and usually fall by the wayside. That being said, I love fall fashion and I thought that it was still worthy of a video. So, hello. Today I wanted to go through my boring fall wardrobe, but see if I can kind of hoof it up a bit and uh, give you some ideas of what you can wear if you are on a budget, but not so much. <clears throat> I still have this fucking cough. Not so much on a budget, but on a work diet. Like, unless you're into thrifting, which so many of you are, I'm not yet. Clothes can only take up so much of your budget for most people. Like, it's expensive to buy clothes even when it's cheap. I've gotten into Timu. I, I will admit, and it's cheap and I love it so far. So I said I wouldn't do it, but I, I kind of did. If you're on that like work diet where you have to wear certain things for work and then you feel like you can't have a whole separate wardrobe outside of work. So that's kind of what this is, just to give you some ideas. So love it when you smile, so them damn bones. Love it when you be my I'll start off with my favorite one. Probably the favorite, my favorite, like, casual clothing that I own right now. I mean, again, I don't have a lot of stuff, but... So, the, the stretchy, shiny leggings. I'll mention the brand, the Girlfriend Collective, because these were over $100. And it's sustainable clothing. So I would normally never purchase it, but I get gift cards from parents and it was for a place where I'm like, what the fuck am I going to buy here? Like I have nothing to buy in this place. And then my husband suggested like maybe they sell clothes. So they did. So I bought the sustainable and they're really, I mean, they're really good. You can tell they're really durable and if you want to go out and get them and support sustainable clothing that's a good thing the girlfriend collective but yeah they were over a hundred dollars here in Canada anyway and I wouldn't have gotten them unless I had a gift card but they feel good they're the shiny and so with this this kind of cropped mustard yellow sweater I love this sweater and it's from Simon's, which you know that I love. And I genuinely think that if you are in the States, you should come here just to go to Simon's because they have beautiful clothes. They're based, they were based originally in Montreal, I think, I imagine. I know they're from Quebec and they dress so beautifully in Montreal. And, uh, ooh, it's an XX small. I like the sizing. And they make this bread. Actually, so I think this was the kids section because I usually try to shop in the kids section there, which is, which is, fantastic and uh yeah so if you can shop in the kids section they have really good sizes then you can get really reasonable clothes that are nice clothes so that's that so this is also from simon's i got this a few years ago and it's kind of this my androgynous sweater like i feel like a guy a guy could wear this a girl could wear it when i i wear it i kind of don't totally look like a girl and so it's my comfy fall sweater did i say i said it was from simon's 
And again, like when I got it, I mean, mind you, it was a few years ago, it was before COVID, but I, got, I think it was like 20 bucks, which again, in the States might not be good. I know that, but he, like here, it's just really good. It's comfy, it's nice, it's fall, like it's warm. And then to kind of not dress it up, but like, like modern it up, I'm gonna wear it with my ripped jeans, which the hole is getting bigger in the knee, but uh, they're still not like super ripped jeans because I think that's fucking gross. But just a little bit of a, a rip. I don't know if I'm seeing them less now, the ripped jeans. It's kind of going away. I don't know, but I like it sometimes. So American Eagle and yeah, it kind of like not dresses up, but something's up the androgynous, boring sweater. So then, these are the super boring, so they're fun, Timu pants that I wear to work. And they're not jeans. I don't care what anyone says. They're, they're work style, like Mark's Work Warehouse, you know, dress-ish dress, dress -ish pants, right? And they were 25 bucks. I don't know, like Canada Timu price. I, I don't know. And I love them. I love them. They're, they're boring. They're ugly, but they're like, they're not skin tight. I always wear like skin, like I'm not, if you see me next time on here with like the bell bottom jeans, like I went through that phase. I don't think I'm going to go through it again. You never know, but I'm, I'm still about the skin tight skinny jeans or, you know, very minimally boot cut. So these are like the baggiest kind of pants that I have and they're so ugly. Like I love it. They're, they're comfy. These it with this shirt. It's, I love this shirt, it's so cute. And this is also from Simon's. When I started this job, I think I got this shirt and I love, I love this shirt. So I'm gonna pair those together. The last, I love these. Like, again, this is something I orig I initially saw and it was it was trendy, people were wearing crop shirts. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna fucking wear that. Are you kidding me? I also went through that phase, but now I just love, I don't even know if they're, I think they're still doing it, but uh, I love the crop shirt now. I wear it and I just feel better about the day going in the crop shirt and I wear, a long shirt now I wear it just it's so not the thing to wear anymore it feels weird and I love the long I grew to love the tunic shirt I still wear the tunic shirt because I need it for work but I mean now they're impossible to find anyway so I love so I'm gonna wear this one with these jeans that I'm wearing now which are also Timo so this crop, not super crop, just like, and then it changed into the jeans, I lied. But, uh, I have like a more like cropped, cropped one. This one's are comfy. Okay. Bye.